how can we see something that's very dim next to something that is brighter than the sun? This is what I'm trying to do at Diamond Light Source. Now, Diamond Light Source is a particle accelerator. It accelerates electrons to nearly the speed of light and then forces them to go around bends using very strong magnets. Now, when the electrons go around these bends, they let off really intense light known as synchrotron radiation, which scientists use for experiments. Now, most of these electrons are focused down into a beam core. However, not all the electrons are very well focused and some of them form a beam halo around this core. It's important to understand this beam halo so that we can understand why some of the electrons are escaping from the beam and work out ways to improve the efficiency of the beam so that we can create a pow as powerful a source as possible for the scientists that are using the synchrotron light. Now, the beam halo is a lot dimmer than the beam core just because it has fewer electrons in it, which takes us back to the original question how can I see something really dim, the beam halo, next to something brighter than the sun, the beam core? Maybe I can take inspiration from the sun. Every few years there is a solar eclipse where the moon blocks out the sun's surface and allows us to see the corona, which is usually outshone. So could I create my own miniature moon and mask out the beam core? This is difficult because the beam, as well as being very small, doesn't always stay in exactly the same place. It doesn't even always have exactly the same shape and size. So I would have to create a mask and put it in exactly the right position so it blocked out the beam core but not the beam halo whilst the beam is moving around and changing shape. So this would be very difficult. However, there is an easier way to approach this using camera sensors. Most camera sensors, like the one in your phone, if you try and take a photo of a really bright light, you'll see that the whole image just becomes flooded with light. This is because the pixels, when they get saturated, bleed out into other pixels around them, which ruins the whole image with these saturation effects. However, there is a different kind of sensor called a CMOS sensor, and this sensor allows you to saturate some of the pixels without saturation effects ruining the whole image. The pixels are much more well contained so they don't bleed out into their neighbours. So this is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to have a CMOS sensor and allow some of those pixels that are imaging the beam core to saturate and have an exposure time long enough that I can also see the beam halo. So that is how I'm going to image the halo so we can better understand beam dynamics and the efficiency of the beam. That is how I'm going to image something very dim next to something that's brighter than the sun.